the requirements um, or you're not sure what the requirements are. So let's dive into Curry Water 2324. Uh, it is a two-year grant. So at the end of 2024, we will find out whether or not DESE is um, honoring and fulfilling and continuing this particular grant. But for right now, we are in year two cycle. I'm not going to read all of this. Feel free to pause. Uh, this is just the intro that's uh, required to be on some of our paperwork. Um, it talks about just the program and what it does. It's coming from DESE. It was a bill that was passed, blah, blah, blah. So you're more than welcome to pause and read that more in depth. So let's talk about eligibility. So there's a, like a number of different categories that you must uh, fulfill in order to participate in career ladder. Or, yeah, in career ladder. Um, for the first one is you need to have a DESE issued professional certificate within the area of teaching. So library media, counselor or guidance, teacher, a psych examiner, parents' teacher, educator, school psych, special education diagnosticians, and a speech pathologist. So those are the different ones that are earmarked and eligible for career ladder participation. You initial requirements are that you must have created a beginning teacher assistance program or that BTAP, completed two years of mentoring, have that certificate that's issued from DESE within the area you are teaching. So if you are a science certified teacher, but you're teaching shop or home ec, you would need to get with Tammy to find out whether or not that certificate is appropriate. And it sounds like for the most part, that is that would not be the case because we would need to be certified in home ec or shop or that other thing. So just make sure that you are um, certified within the area that you are teaching. You need to be on a full-time regular length contract with like a teaching contract, uh, be performing at an acceptable level on or above, I'm sorry, at an acceptable level or above on all criteria on the most recent evaluation. So if you're on a building, uh, building uh, I'm sorry, teacher improvement plan, something like that professional improvement plan, you would not be eligible. Uh, can complete the intent form, which is a very simple checkbox, ironically, um, and then submit the career ladder plan and receive approval from the building principal. And then you're committing to 20 hours of tutoring either before or after school. Um, and then I don't know that we have any SLPs um, in our new group this year, but you can read the little disclaimer on the BTAP and mentoring as that's not been a requirement. Additional requirements on top of that. So you have two options, a little bit more money here, $1,500 in stage one or $3,000 in stage two. Technically there is a stage three, but we do not offer it because we weren't sure exactly how long the program would be around. So stage one and stage two, career ladder again was 1,200 just to give you perspective. You have to have completed two years of education, uh, I'm sorry, two years of teaching in a Missouri public school. You can't be starting on year two. You have to have completed year two. That's where pride comes in for those zero, one, and two year uh, teaching experience in Missouri. Can't be in Oklahoma. Can't be in Kansas. Has to be in Missouri. Then you have an additional 50 hours of, I'm sorry, 50 hours of additional responsibilities, including the minimum of 20 tutoring. Okay. So 20 is tutoring. 30 can be other responsibilities like the committee work, professional development, all of those types of things. Um, some people just do the 50 hours in tutoring and that's fine too. There's a log check in January. So you need to keep up with that paperwork and that documentation so that you can turn it in and make sure that things are golden because the pride reps will go and career ladder reps will go over those logs and make sure you're on the right track. Because when career ladder existed before, there were some individuals that didn't do that uh, prior to last year and they came up short. And the thing about it, we're going to go over whether or not you get reimbursed as well. Um, and then submitting the final log for approval at the beginning of May. Stage two is a $3,000 reimbursement. You have to have completed three years of teaching in a Missouri school, 75 hours of additional responsibilities with a minimum of 20. So 20 tutoring, 55 can be in other areas. Uh, so just more, more hours, but more money. Uh, there's a log check in the week of January, and then that log is due in May. Key thing here, a participant will need to fulfill the requirements of participation for whichever option is chosen in September. 
participants are not allowed or permitted to change from curl ladder to pride. So if you get in about September or October and you're like, oh, crud, I'm going to switch to pride, not allowed. You're either dropping from the curl ladder option um, or you're pursuing onward. But you are able to transfer from stage one, I'm sorry, from stage two to stage one if stage two hours are not met. Example, I am a teacher and I got my 20 hours of tutoring and I got 55, no, I'm sorry. What would that be? 30, I got 30 hours of additional responsibilities. That equals 50. I can participate in stage one because I'm not going to get my 75 hours. If a participant is unable to earn the 50 hours for stage one, then you participate, you, you forfeit any compensation. So I have selected stage one. I got my 20 hours of tutoring, but I only got in 20 more hours uh, for 40 total. I do not get any money towards that reimbursement. That's where the pride program, you would get partial reimbursement. So there is the piece that you need to be mindful of. Career wider manual. There, there's a pride manual and a career wider manual because if not, it would be too copiously extensive. It's also in the NST curriculum PD course. Talks about all the detailed information, deadlines, forms, reimbursement, and logging of hours. I didn't redo a GIF for the career wider form, but very basic, very much the same in terms of your documentation. Just rename it. Uh, make sure that you log your hours. Um, sign-in sheets for those tutoring pieces, all of those things are the same. Uh, and in fact, if anything, we need to be much more strict on what is eligible and not eligible because if should the state come in and audit us on any of the things that were turned in and find any issues in compliance, then they would pull the funding for the entire district and no one would get their career ladder uh, it, uh, opportunity. Um, and then we would not be allowed to do any further career ladder options moving forward should that grant continue. I am not going to read through each one and every one of these, but this, you can feel free to pause on what's eligible. Things you have to remember is it cannot be during contracted time and you cannot receive a stipend for it. Um, so just, just put that on, that lens on as you look through these things. Other things I've kind of honed down a little bit farther. So committee work, online PD, book studies, uh, like a passion project, sharing the passion projects. If, if your building is has a share time, approved curriculum work, not just like writing your lesson plans, but actually like curriculum work that's for your grade level, for your subject area, college classes, just like pride. And then mentoring is another option as well. Not eligible. So please pause and just kind of glance through this. Painting your classroom or beautification projects. If you're not involving any students, obviously that's not great. Taking tickets, timekeeping, scorekeeping, just attending school functions just for fun. Um, or just to watch your, your child unless you're doing something with the students, not really eligible. Um, PTO carnivals, craft fairs, etc. So just be mindful of what is eligible and not eligible. Here's the flow chart again. Main thing to hone in on is whether or not it's during contracted time and whether or not you receive a stipend. Again, those hours can still count towards the 20 district hours required for a professional development, but then you can take it a lens further and look into that the different bucket of pride or curl ladder. I have not updated the, the due dates, but I promise that will happen. This is the one from the pride um, example, but there's a curl ladder one just like that with all the links to everything. I've tried to make it as simplistic and as easy as possible. So please check that out in the manual um, in Canvas. Again, your Pride and Career Ladder reps, it says Pride reps, I need to fix that, but your Career Ladder reps, um, same as the Pride reps. Uh, I do need to add in RISE on here as well, um, but this gives you an idea of who to contact. Uh, the manual is your first go-to, your Pride rep, and then contacting me um, as well. 
So again, same Jeff, please double check. You have to be even more strict on the, the career ladder piece um, just to make sure we're in compliance. So double better safe than sorry to check whether or not it's a, appropriate. Uh, please make sure that you've completed the Pride or Career Ladder intent. Um, and then if you're not participating in either Pride or Career Ladder, please choose that option. Thank you so much for sticking with me. This was a lot of information and a lot of numbers and a lot of dates and a lot of eligible, not eligible. So I appreciate you listening to this video and making your decision. If you have any more questions, please let me know. Um, I'm happy to answer them. Thanks so much.